Do you want a super cool Discord presence system that will show your presence to the entirety of Discord? Well today I'm going to show you on how you can install it. So first head to the link in the description which will take you to a post that looks exactly like this. And now we're going to start with installation. So let's first download the Windows server. So click on whichever OS you have, in our case Windows. Okay, and it's going to install. And now we're going to download the Roblox plugin which is responsible for communicating studio to our plugin. So just click on install. And then it's going to open up and wait for it to install. Okay, so it's going to log in and then it's going to say success. Yep, installation complete. We can just click OK. And now we're going to open a game of our example, so Cookie Towers. Okay, now it's opening. It says loading place. Please wait. And you may be thinking to yourself, why is it not working yet? Well, it's super simple. We need to start running the server so that the server can communicate with Discord. So we're going to open up our file explorer and now we can extract this folder called Studio Presence Windows. We can delete the old compressed one just to save space. And we can open this folder and run the server. Okay, and now, okay, it's going to say Windows protected your PC. It is a safe file. You can trust me on that. Just run anyway. And as you can see, Studio Presence started. And as you can see, it shows what we're doing inside of Studio. Okay, now one quick thing. If it's not working for you, it may be that you don't have um, the um, the the display current activity as a status message enabled, make sure you do have that enabled, otherwise it won't show what's going on inside of your game. Now let's just quickly test it out by opening a couple of scripts. Okay, let me just test this is the right game. Yeah, it is. Okay, I just was testing before to make sure it worked. Okay, so let's just add a couple of lines. Let's just make 10 lines of this, so print hi. Okay, head over back to Discord. And as you can see, it shows how many lines we have, the type of script, and how long we've been spending on it, and the workspace, which is the game we're editing. Which is super cool in my opinion. Now also, it works with all the great script types, so local script, module scripts, all the script types, and all of that good stuff. And as you can see, it updates based on which script we're inside, which I think is a super cool feature to have. Now, if you want to uninstall this plugin, it's almost as simple as installation. So head over to your plugins tab, Hit manage plugins and then scroll down until you see the correct plugin. Where is it? Uh, no, not that one. Oh, yep, Studio Presence. And then we're going to click on the three dots and uninstall. That's all of the Roblox stuff down. And then finally, we can delete the file. No, no, delete. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, not the file name. Delete. It's oh, yep, you need to um stop the terminal. So let's just close out of that and stop the terminal. And now finally, we'll be able to delete it. And yippee. Okay, so if you found this tutorial helpful, which I really hope you did, make sure to check out our forms, which is forms.thecookie.dev, and hopefully you have a great day. Thank you for tuning in, and that's all from me.